Here we go. Now, this first category, remember, is influential TV characters. The most influential TV characters of all time. Here's our first one. He was a character in a groundbreaking 1970s sitcom. He often clashed with his more liberal son-in-law, Mike. He worked as a dock foreman in Queens, New York. Hey, how's it going? What else is here? Anybody remember this character? I don't know if the robots hit this one right on the button, so you just have to go by the clues. He was known for his bigotry and blunt opinions. He was the main character in the television show All in the Family. Who knows who the character was? Anybody remember his name? It was played by an actor called named Carol O'Connor. Carol O'Connor. The male Carol. A man Carol. <laughs> you may remember the character's name. This is Archie Bunker. He became an iconic symbol of American television, challenging social norms. All right, I bet you know number two. She was always trying to get into show business. She had a penchant for getting into hilarious predicaments. Who knows this one? She was married to a Cuban band leader. Do you remember this? <laughs> Her best friend and the landlady was Ethel Merckx. If I remember the character's name is really what I'm looking for. Anybody know? She was the star of the television show, I Love Lucy. But do you remember her character's name? All right, I'll give it away. Lucy Ricardo, Lucy Ricardo's comedic antics made I Love Lucy a timeless classic. Lucy Ricardo. Well, these might be a little, little bit of a throwback for a lot of them, but I bet you know this one. He was a high school chemistry teacher Turned meth maker. <laughs> Bet you know this one. He partnered with a former student to build a drug empire. You know this one? Who's the kid? What's the character name? Of course, we can we can do the actors' names as well. He adopted the alias Heisenberg. Heisenberg. This is Heisenberg. <laughs> he was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer on the show. You guys remember? Remember the show? You remember the character? You remember the actor? Anything? <laughs> he was the protagonist of Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. You remember the character's name now? Mr. White, Mr. White, right? Mr. White, Walter White. Walter White's transformation from teacher to drug kingpin captivated the audience. <laughs> Walter White, Breaking Bad. All right, next up. Well, so this is going back a little bit more, but you might remember it. He struggled with anxiety and sought therapy. He balanced family life with his role as a mob boss. He was the head of the DeMeo crime family. DeMeo crime family. 
New York. Long running television show. It was on like HBO or something. He lived in New Jersey. He was the main actor in the TV show called The Sopranos. The Sopranos. But what was his name in the show? Anybody know this one? I'm not sure the robots did real good with this. It might be one of their weakest paintings I've seen in a while. Alfonso. Yes. No, not Alfonso. He looks like an Alfonso. <laughs> this is Tony Soprano. Tony Soprano. The star of The Sopranos. Complex character. He was a complex character. Now, I bet you get this one. He works at a nuclear power plant. And he loves donuts and beer. <laughs> Do you know who this one is? Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Good to see you. Who's this? <laughs> he is often oblivious to his own mistakes. His wife is Marge. And they have three children. Bart, Lisa, and Maggie. Can't you remember who this is? <laughs> Come on. There you go. We have the answer on the board. <laughs> What's his character's name? Come on. This is Homer Simpson. Homer, Homer Simpson has become one of the most recognizable and enduring characters in TV history. <laughs> That's right. Homer Simpson. There he is. I think the robots did okay with that one. All right. I bet you know the next one, too. He was the captain of the starship USS Enterprise. That's a pretty good clue. Pretty easy clue. He was known for his bravery and leadership skills, and he always got the girl. <laughs> he was known for his bravery. His first officer was Mr. Spock. He explored new worlds and sought out new life forms and new civilizations. Who knows this one? Which character is this? You can you can give me the actor's name too. But we're looking for the character. He was the main character in the show Star Trek. It is Star Trek. That's the show. Who's the character? Who's the actor? Who knows? <laughs> this is Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk, of course. Captain Kirk's adventures in Star Trek inspired generations of science fiction fans. William Shatner. William Shatner as Captain Cook. Kirk. Very good. All right, now the robots don't do the greatest job with this painting, so you're going to have to go by the clues. She was a high school student chosen to battle vampires and demons. She had a watcher named Giles. She fought to protect the Hellmouth. Oh, I'm not sure I watched the show enough. Who knows this one? She had a group of loyal friends known as the Scooby Gang. Who is this? She's a vampire killer. Who knows? She was the main character in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So what's her name? <laughs> I bet you don't get her last name. I don't think I do her last name. I don't think I did. Yeah, I didn't. 
But who? What's the character's name? This is Buffy from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy Summers. That's her last name. Her strength and resilience made her a feminist icon in television. Okay, you should be able to get the next one. He was an advertising executive in the 1960s. He often hid his troubled past. Who is this? Who oh, no. Who's this TV character? He worked as the fictional at the fictional Sterling Cooper Agency, advertising agency. He was known for his creativity and his charm. Does anybody remember? What? This is a, this is a TV character. <laughs> this is not Stalin. This is not the Bolsheviks. Name the Bolsheviks. We will do name the Bolsheviks in the future. We will do that. Um, He's the main character in Mad Men. Mad Men. Do you remember the show? What's his name, though? What's the character's name? Who knows? Dan, uh, Don Draper. Don Draper. Remember? Don. Don Draper. Complex character. To be certain. All right. Kind of the same era now. She was a columnist in New York City. She wrote about her relationships and those of her friends. The Ultimate Chick Show. Ultimate. She was known for her fashion sense, especially her love of shoes. <laughs> I'm not sure the robots are, are nailing this one on the, on the painting, but you should be able to get it from the clues. Her closest friends were Miranda, Charlotte, and Samantha. Yeah, exactly. Susan knows. <laughs> Except I believe it was spelled with a C. This is Carrie Bradshaw from Sex in the City. Who knows the actress's name? Who knows the actress's name? Anybody got it? Sarah Jessica Parker, of course. Carrie Bradshaw. She was known for her candid exploration of modern relationships that resonated with the audience. There she is. Nah, I don't think the robots hit that one. I'm not sure. Okay, last last one in the category. Your last chance to get influential characters. And I bet you know it. He is a theoretical physicist with an IQ of 187. Smart man. He has a strict routine and numerous idiosyncrasies. He often struggles with social interactions and sarcasm. Who knows? Who knows his character? He has a deep love for comic books and science fiction. He is one of the main characters in The Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory. Who knows the character? Is this still on? Is, this is on in reruns, right? This isn't still going uh, first run? I don't think so. There you go. Susan's got it. Glad you're here, Susan. These, these folks were having trouble with these characters. <laughs> That's right. His name is Sheldon Cooper in the show. His quirky personality and intelligence made him a standout character in television comedy. All right. So you didn't do too bad. I would say you didn't do too bad. Now, if you didn't do good on those, though, these next ones are going to be a little bit hard. Um, 